got a little bit of clearing up to do in the uh, warehouse. How long? Ago? Uh, about 15 minutes after he's gone. That's all right. Yes. Yeah, uh, I've been here like for a while. I'll come back to Simon Trucker. Just on my delivery. And as usual, waiting outside. In between. Waiting in between the back doors. That's why I am. The queues are still going on. This is day. This day three, day four. It's something I thought was a one day, one two day thing, but it's still going on. People queuing up for the for the diesel and the petrol. The army stay out of this. That's what I can say to you. Just go and stay in there, clean your guns or whatever people do in the army when they are not busy. We, this section, this is a sign that in, in this industry there is an issue. Something's been, been avoided for a long time. Okay, the issues are there. We've been singing about the reasons. Everyone knows the wages, the what, the what, the what, the what. And I, everyone knows. Do not come to do our thing. Stay on guard. We are going to manage. We have issues and we need to sort it out. We appreciate and we love you <laughs> for being ready to help us. But I don't think we need that help. This is discussions for, for professional drivers, vocational drivers. Yeah. And, and the government and the unions. Drivers do not have associations. The one of the reasons I'm on YouTube. We just drive. Hello, mate. See you later. Boom. Never see them again. It's a weakness. Yeah, I was saying, Ami, just stay out of it. It's good you, you're ready to help. But this is a, a section that can handle its own self. This showing weaknesses in the haulage industry. And we're not going to sort it by once in a while bringing the army for a couple of days and a couple of what. We need to sort out what's the matter. Okay? Long hours, I think, is the biggest deterrent. If you went to a job and you don't know what time you finish and the hours are too long and so on, I, th in the, I reckon is the, the biggest deterrent. How can we attack that one? Back to basics. I'm going to tell you. Back to basics. Yeah? How it all began? What is transport? You're sending something. Let us say if you're sending a letter to, to someone. Yeah? Them days, I bet... They'd give you a letter, the person would maybe, let's say, walk there or ride there to the place and give the letter. Now, the one sending the letter and the one receiving the letter, I think they should be in touch, especially nowadays. Phones, internet. Yeah? Dispatch should be in close contact with receivers. If you want to take out the long delays issue, when you're sending someone, you should already know where they're going and what they're doing. Do they expect them or not? What time they expect them? There shouldn't be this thing of just go and deal with it. What do you mean go and deal with it? We have less workers. We need efficiency. What? We need better productivity. That means dispatch needs to link up with receivers. There is no other way you can do it. The best logistic companies do do that. By the time you get to so-and-so, at this time, they will expect you at this time. When you get there, you swap with this trailer and what. We need to get into efficiency. That's going to reduce the, the, the shortage. Definitely. And it's going to keep people in because they know where they're going. They can just go do it and leave. Not going to work and then you don't know what time you're going to finish. That is the most unattractive thing about our job. Long hours. The guys who are sending you, sometimes you will see them arrive. You wake up in, in, in early before even dawn and you start your job. You see them walk in, the office people, I mean, and they, and they give you the jobs. You see them go away, finish their job, and you're still going on another job. So, yes, it's a, a different job, but you, don't you think that we, we also think about things like that? Why don't shouldn't I go home neatly? Yeah? The actual desirable hours for any human being is eight hours. Why do you think they say nine to five? Why do you say, think they say, yeah, nine to five? 
Yeah, nine to three is six hours. To five is eight hours. Nine to five. I know this is a dream and far off, but if you have the many workers and you schedule these workers properly and you pay them properly so people are attracted to this industry, you will have all those people. Improve the schedules and then more, more bodies ready to do it. It will be a good job. It will be a good job. Backdoor should link with dispatch, my opinion. And get us very good, uh, very good plans. Don't just send people anyhow away on the roads. That's what's calling because it's log hours and and, uh, and uh, unplanned finishing times. All right, another one, another one is wages, guys. We've talked about wages every time we've talked about wages. It's very, very obvious. Most people, I ran a survey on this on this uh, YouTube channel, and I was asking people when a driver starts working, what do they think that they think of the most? Everyone was saying they think of money. They think of money. On that one, actually, me, I was thinking of time. Simply because I, I, I do other jobs. I do other jobs, not only driving. So I'm, I'm always thinking about my time. I don't want to spend the whole, you know, the whole day and night doing one thing, no. So, but many people think of their money. So put up the money, it's simple as put up the money. In this section, when I started, it was the paying 10 pounds an hour. They kept 10 pounds an hour for over 10 years. Once it changed, it went to 12 pounds. 11, 12, 13. It stayed on 13 till before this pandemic. Pandemic's coming now, it's jumped to 18 and 17. But believe you me, that rate is supposed to be 20 pound minimum. That rate is supposed, meant to be. If this economy was how it's going and things improving and inflation and everything else, 20 quid an hour should just be there as a minimum for drivers. Another issue, it's not a fight. Our fight for, for good wages is not against our dear employers. Please don't get it wrong. We are fighting for our own situations. Just the same way that your employers, you have your own issues. You get your profit and, and go. You don't tell us what you profit, do you? So we're wondering, we're thinking, talking about our own Wages our own situation, but the fight is not with you. You're taking that fight to the ones paying you so that you pay us better. So it's going to the customer, back to you, the masses, actually. So you want to sort this out. It's all of us got to sort it out. We're probably going to have to pay more. If government don't jump in and subsidize, we have to pay a bit more for our goods so that the guys bring the goods are happy. In my opinion, 30 pounds per hour, we should be rolling at 30 pounds, 25 per hour. Imagine 25 per hour times 8 is 250 pounds, which I think is decent for a day's work. Okay, and imagine, in dream world, why shouldn't we, I'm talking dream, but it's good to dream. If you did 8 hours, and you got paid 25 pounds per hour, yeah, you'd be on what? No, no, you'd be on 200 pounds. Yeah, you'd be on 200 pounds, which nowadays in my opinion, is a decent day's wage. But it's only decent if you have a normal day. If you go on extra and extra, 200 pound is not the one. It's not the one. Okay, 30 pound per hour shouldn't be unheard of. It should not be unheard of. All right, shouldn't. It shouldn't. Uh -huh. Because I mean, nurses do get that. We're also doing something really urgent. If we don't get the medicine, can you really treat anyone? Even if you're a doctor. So, wages, just put the money on top, please. Do not do not uh, hold that back. Don't hold that back. And employers, it's not you that we're tailing off. It's it's the it's the masses, it's it's whoever is sending you. Okay, don't get don't get fuming for me. I'm talking about it's industry wide that I'm discussing, not personal. All right, number three, I have more, more points like rest areas by the government. It, many people just give up this thing because they don't know where to store. When you're driving, especially if you're doing regional, London to Midlands, London to Scotland, Wales, that there you do need those rest centers. Many guys are complaining, even like on the few nights or the other day, you guys saw the video when I spent the night in the truck. You need, you need, government needs to help us and get rest centers. All these massive 
land that we see on the roadsides if government's got any any access to it they should be dotting down rest areas subsidized rest areas by the government if this section is really important like the way it's proving to be you government needs to spend on us rest areas by the government okay these should be subsidized hgv drivers hgv drivers should be added on the list of key workers officially not just mentioning officially do you know what it means key workers people like nurses doctors uh, yeah nurses doctors and army i think yeah they do get help when they're finding houses they do get help in other sex in other bits especially finding houses accommodation buying houses subsidized and that you need we need to do it for a truck driver and not just speak about it actually do it do it do it write it down put it in parliament do it wherever you guys write it we need to put those guys to a list which is going to attract people to join yeah add hgv on shortage list for immigration i made that video already if you guys haven't seen it i'm going to you must be looking at the top here on those priority lists for immigration it means that you can be a truck driver from another country away and then prove that and then get recruited here by a trucking company and then you'll be acceptable by immigration to come here officially write you down and then register you and you start to work straight away all right that should be done for HGV, okay? Same prayer that we have for <laughs> to be done in America. In America, uh, they, I think I wrote it, I saw it somewhere, yeah, I wrote, uh, America have started to do it. I think they recruited South African drivers into America and they're helping them. For us, we're still in a dilly-dally. Some countries, are Commonwealth countries, people are there able and ready, full of energy. Instead, we're still thinking about it. I think it's a racist thought not to bring people from Africa who are willing and able to do the jobs that we don't want to do and also which our neighbors don't want to do anymore. Okay, think about it. Another thing is image and impression. Why, why all the time do truckers be taken to be like dummies? I know we're doing manual work, but the image, general image, every time a person introduces themselves, I'm a truck driver, you should be <laughs> respecting, you should I don't salute. But I mean, just give us respect, generally, an impression. People should start to like it as a fancy, you know, fancy full job, a, a nice job. Uh, government needs to make this a nice job. I don't know how, just get publicity and get this job to be a nice job. Uh, severe delays continue on the M25 yes. Well, there's no specialist tanker training school. I've noticed there is no specialist tanker training. How people get to be tanker drivers is the next video. Okay, I'm making the next video how to become how to become a tanker tanker delivery driver and HGV. So government needs to step in and get a specialist tanker training school. At the moment, there is no specialist tanker tra tanker training school. How people get to be? Wait for the next video. Okay, I'm going to go on. I think I've got this uh, knocked out and. Um, I need to get on with this delivery. We'll speak with you pretty soon on the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give us a hand and get more videos. Encourage creativity. Okay. I'm going to go on and on and on and on and on. So I'm going to leave you this video at this and say stay safe. God bless. Look.